Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repo Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be looking at AutoCAD 2016 and the mText command. The mText command allows you to create text in a block field and work with uh, basically different types of features within that command. Here's an example of the mText box command being used. And if we want to create it, um, just for the sake of context, I have a CD sheet here. I have a viewport already set up. That viewport, if we go to its properties, we'll see that it has a scale of eighth inch. We have annotation scale to match, and it's locked. We'll head over here into the viewport, and my mouse is inside the viewport. The annotate tab of the ribbon text panel has all the tools that you need to work with. The mText command is actually the first top part of the command. You can expand this command and use single line text command if you want to. There is a style, text style, to work with, and they give you a few to work with right off the bat. You can manage those text styles if you need to as well. And if you're working with annotative ones, it has a cross section of a triangular scale. And we're going to work with that one for now. I'll start the mText command, and it's going to ask you to specify the first corner. You click where you want for the upper left corner. You need to specify the height of the text in printed format. In other words, what is the printed text height? Right click before you left click for the second lower right hand corner. You can specify height and type in the height you want, say uh, one quarter inch. Hit enter. And now, if you left click for the lower right hand corner of the M text box, you have given yourself that field to work with. So in here, you can type whatever you want. So let's say, for example, I type in, this is not the correct wall type. Please verify with structural and architectural designers. And then when you're finished, click out to space, and you're finished. If you double click the mText box, it takes you back into the text editor contextual tab of the ribbon. In here, you have a lot of things to work with. You have the style panel, formatting, paragraph, inserting, spell checker, so on and so forth. So you can start to make modifications. For example, maybe it's not the correct style that you want, or maybe it's too, uh, the text height is too high. Maybe we make it, say, 3 16th of an inch. Now, when you do this and it doesn't do anything, what you want to make sure is that you highlight when you want to work with, then change it, hit Enter, and then the change is effective. There is a background masking that you can put on if you want to, and you can use it. You can specify a specific color, for example. Let's say, mm, <clears throat> we'll specify that. And if it's not functioning very well for you, double check your graphics card and the graphics card accelerator. There may be hiccups and issues with 2016 and my graphics card. Uh, my laptop is a three-year-old laptop and it's not compliant to run 2016. Now, other things that you can do as well, you can highlight the text and you can work with it. For example, let's say we do a different font type. Like that. We can bold it, italics, strike through it, underline it, overline it. And if you click each one of those, they turn on or off those features. <clears throat> You can uh, specify as a superscript or subscript, making it tiny or lot. Okay. You can switch it from uppercase to lowercase. Uh, you also can change the color. Maybe it's going to be yellow. You can also specify justification as well. You can specify bulleting and numbering, line spacing, paragraph indentation, columns, symbols, and even fields. Uh, you can do spell checker, and the, most of it is pretty self-explanatory. So, you know, let's say, for example, I want to throw in a symbol. I can just pick whatever I want. Maybe I want to put in a field. 
I can click the field command. It'll bring up this field window, and we can filter by, let's say, the document, and let's say the file name it needs to be uppercase, and I just want the file name. Hit OK, and it puts the information in there. Now, a field will update automatically if the information changes based upon the metadata of the file. And what else? Um, and it's pretty self-explanatory, not that difficult to work with. Some people prefer to use Microsoft Word. And so what they'll do is they'll strike out and delete anything that they want in that mtext box. They'll head over to Microsoft Word. They'll copy and paste what they want from Word. And back over here, they'll right-click and paste it. And that data comes in. Okay. Uh, and that's it. That is a quick screencast on the mtext command box command in AutoCAD 2016. Thanks for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.